it's me, the king of late night TV. I'm the guy that says, go to the phone and call. Get to the phone and call. What are you looking at me for? It's private, confidential, one-on-one, -on -one and discreet. Go to the phone call now. Can't make a call. I can't make a call. Bell Canada turned off my phone. What do you think about that? The guy that says, go to the phone and call, can't make a call. Isn't that a great story? This is a great blog. I need your help now. Three weeks ago, four weeks ago, there was an article in the Toronto Star. The CEO, the president of Bell Canada was getting so many complaints from customers. He said, if you have a problem, I want you to get in touch with me. Here's my phone number. Here's my email address. we got to provide the best customer service. So what do they do? They turn off my phone. Me, Big Shot TV celebrity David Bronstein, turned off the phone. Now, why did they turn off my phone? Didn't I pay my bill? Of course I pay my bill. You get in touch. My bill's up to date, and I'm going to tell you why. Last month, Bell Canada said I owed them $600, or maybe $800, I can't remember what the hell it is, $600 or $800. They said that I didn't pay the bill for nine months, nine, 10, 11 months, never paid the bill. Now, does this make sense to you? If you don't pay your phone bill for, for one month, maybe two months, three months tops, that's it, they're going to turn it off. Why would they let me have phone service for nine, 10, 11, 12 months and not pay the bill and let me have phone service? So I said, what are you talking about? That's impossible. I go to the bank, I pay. I, I just, when I go to the bank, and I don't write checks out, when I go to the bank, I say, put a $500 in the Visa card, put $200 in a cell phone, put $100. I, I just throw money around. I don't have receipts that I give up. I don't know what the hell is going on. I'm very disorganized. So when the phone company said, listen, you better pay this $600, right? I can't remember if it was six or $800. You better pay this six or $800. We're turning off the phone today. I said, oh, yeah? They said, yeah. Then they turned it off. So I, I paid the bill. I, I called my, here's my credit card, and I paid the bill. Did I owe it? I don't know. I don't have, I, I, for me to wait for them to send me the bills, yes, I get the bills, I get them in my office, I get them at my house, I get them at my mother-in-law's, my cousin Sandy, she hates I get mail over there, I don't know what the hell, you, you think I look at the bills, I'm the, I'm, the, I'm the scammer's dream, because a scammer could add things on my credit card statement, could make calls my long distance, I never look at it, like millions of people don't, they, they, they bill things, and people just pay it, I'm, I'm letting you know, you want to scam me, I'm the guy to do it, besides business partners who scam me all the time, but besides that, I just pay, pay. I said, all right, so you 600, take the 600. I don't, who cares? Just turn on the phone. What the hell do I know? And they said, all right, now we're going to turn on the phone, but you got to give us $200. I said, who are you, Bugsy Siegel? I said, why do I have to give you $200? They said, well, because you didn't pay the bill for nine or 10 months, whatever it is, we want a $200 deposit. I said, are you joking me? I just gave you $600 or 800. I can't remember whatever it was. And now you want $200 on deposit. What is that going to do for you? What if I don't pay the bill again for another two years? It's $200. I said, I'm not giving it to you. I'm not giving you two. I just gave you six or 800. You turn on the phone. I'm not giving you a 200. I'm not doing it. Forget it. I'm moving over to another phone company. That's it. So I said, Andrea, go get me another phone company. I'm not doing business. Now they turn on the phone. They had to turn on the phone because I paid the bill. They got to do it. So Andrea went to make arrangements for another phone company to come in and to give me phones. Or same line, same phone, everything the same. And then... Because I may be a hothead now, about 30 seconds later, I forget about it, I don't care. And he said, okay, they'll be in on Tuesday, they'll be at 11 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 12. I said, I right, forget it already, who cares? Just, uh, the lines are working, I paid it, who cares, who cares? So, a couple of days ago, Andrea calls me and says, the phone company's trying to get in touch with you, your line is full. Now, my line, I get a lot of calls, my line's always full, but it wasn't full yesterday. So I went home, there was no message from the phone company. I said, well, they want to talk to you, so call them. So I call the number Andrea gives me to call. And I videotaped it. I videotaped it because I had a message on my line. This is the phone company, Mrs. Funkhauser, or, or Funk, so, something with Funk. I don't know what, I couldn't understand it. Excuse me, geez, I got so much gas, I can drive to Pittsburgh. I said, uh, this is Mrs. Funkhauser, and you got to pay $200. You have to pay $200 deposit because your phone bill's paid up, but we don't care it's paid up. You got to give us $200 or we're, you got till 5 o'clock today. So I took my digital camera and I videotaped it like I videotaped what happened live at the uh, steakhouse. I videotaped me calling Bell Canada. Now, if I can only figure out how to get it into the computer and send it to you and put it up live, I'm going to do that. I have to ask my wife to do that. And you hear me calling and then you hear me hear, hello, welcome to Bell Canada. Press one, two for this, three for that, six for this, 12 for that, two for that. It's insane. And you hear me commenting. It's very funny. And then they start talking in French. French, German, Japanese. I don't know what the hell language it is. I, I, I'm from Philadelphia. That's all. I, I don't know what the hell they're talking about. Then then it finally says, look, thank you for calling, and this is the whole thing is a recording. Thank you for calling, but we're very, very busy. We are too busy to talk to you. Can't talk to you. So if you want, leave a message or listen to this music. That's what they
I said and I have it on the camera. We're too busy to talk to you. We're backed up like a stuffed toilet. Too many customers are calling to complain. We cannot talk to you. This is the recording. Leave a message. Uh, and then it pl plays music. I have no time to hold on listening to the music. And the music was lousy anyway. Maybe if it was Broadway show tunes, I would have hung on. Maybe Barry Manilow. I think they were playing some rock and roll bullshit. I don't know what the hell it was. So I wouldn't hold on. So I hung up. That's it. This afternoon I come home. Lines off. Right now, if you try to call me, any of my friends who are watching this, the, the two friends, uh, if you try to call me, can't get on. So I said to Andrea, I called her, I said, get the other phone company here. I am not giving them $200. This bill is paid up. It's against the law, the regulations, the CRTC. They cannot turn off a bill, a phone, if your phone is paid. And it's paid. It's up to date. So they can't turn off because somebody there wants two hundred dollars so they can take his wife out to dinner tonight or whatever the hell it is so now i have to get in touch with the ceo so if the ceo of bell canada is watching this i have to get i gotta spend my time now complaining and putting out a press release to the to the media the, the king of late night tv the guy that says go to the phone and call can't call bell canada turned off his phone because they want a two hundred dollar deposit does he owe bell canada money no is his phone bill paid up yes then how can they turn off the phone how because they want an additional two hundred dollar deposit is this unbelievable? I have to get in touch with the CEO. I'm going to get in touch with the CEO now. I'm going to record it. I'll take my little digital camera. I'll, I'll, I'll go to the phone. You'll hear the whole process is what's going on here. Meanwhile, I'm getting rid of Bell Canada, and I'm switching over to another phone company, so it won't go on until next week sometime, whatever the hell it is. My friends will have to get in touch with me with my cell phone. I could have it turned on right now. I can call Bell, give my credit card. I'm not doing it. I'm not giving him $200 deposit. There's no reason for it because somebody in the back office wants to go out to dinner for Valentine's Day because they forgot it was last Tuesday. I'm not doing it. It doesn't make any sense. Stuff has to make sense. This does not make any sense to me, so I'm not doing it. I want you to go to Bronstein. How much time do I have? I want you to go to Bronsteinsworld.com. Bronsteinsworld.com and tell me what would you do. Would you say, okay, Bell, show whatever you want. You want $200? Here it is. You want $500? I'll give me an extra $500. You want $1,000? Take it. Is that what you would do? Go to Bronsteinsworld.com and tell me what you would do, or would you take the time to go to the CEO, the president, the chairman, the board, and complain? This is a great story. The guy that says, go to the phone and call, can't make a call. So now I need somebody to write a press release. Oh, there's a whole big bit to do, to do a... I don't have any time for this because if I have to do this, I can't do blogs. I got my most important time of the day is doing blogs. <laughs> so go to bronstainsworld.com and if you're a Big Shot TV producer or network, I want you to get in touch with me because I couldn't write this stuff. This episode is called The CEO Belt to Canada. Get in touch with me. That's what this is. I wanted to put a longer title, but they couldn't fit there. You know, I said to my agent, I want to see my name up in lights. My name up in lights. He said, call yourself Exit. That's my blog for today. Go to bronzingeworld.com, click on the RSS feeds, click on dig it, dig this, dig, dig something, send it to your friends, tell me what you would do. And let's see how long it takes me to get another phone from another phone company. Goodbye!